Dr. Erica with Rosie Research and we've had a lot of fun with our Pirates Treasure Lab. So far we've done a lot of shipbuilding, we had a ton of add-on activities if you look at the playlists that we've done. And you can get all of the information, all of the printouts for that by either becoming a patron at patreon.com slash Rosie Research or you can just buy the Pirate Lab individually at rosyresearch.com slash shop. And I wanted to give you guys a couple of uh, other ideas that you can do with various types of learners. So all of our labs, we really try to bring kids in either through colorful art and drawing, really well done lab books, all these add-on activities that bring in multiple intelligences. We write stories and mysteries to get all of the kids engaged. But I know that some of kids might be more interested in math or might be more interested in literature. So I wanted to give you some activities you could do at home to kind of keep them interested and spread out this unit a little bit longer. So for your kids that really love math or maybe even kids that need a little push with math, you can do some conversions. So how many pennies did their ships hold? And if you just go to the dollar store and get some fun pirate treasure, they could maybe say one penny is worth five pieces of gold bullion and then they can figure out well how many pennies did I have and how much gold bullion do I get. You could have a different conversion maybe for a silver rock, maybe one penny is worth two silver rocks. And you could even go further and have them be able to trade their treasure in for candies or some fun afternoon activity. So that can be a fun little way to bring in a math for your math students. Um, for kids who love the outdoors, which I'm not sure there is any kid that does not, um, you could go out either to a pond or to the ocean. We live right by the ocean, so um, we went out in low tide and we looked at marine animals. And it was kind of fun to kind of go out in the ocean and tie it into this pirate's lab in the ocean. You can talk about the ocean's health. Uh, we found some critters we had never seen before, so we went to the library and we found ourselves a book, which is great in terms of learning the Dewey Decimal System, learning numerology on a line and how to find a book. And then we had taken pictures at the beach, so she actually, my daughter, got to look through the book until we found and identified the animals. So that's a really fun sort of research activity, or you could also bring a book like this to the beach with you and identify things as you go. So that's a great sort of hands-on, outdoorsy, naturalist type of way, an afternoon activity you can do that will tie into the pirates. Um, for kids who really enjoyed the lab part with our Vector Vermin, maybe they would want to check out this book, which is The Lost Treasures of the Pirates of the Caribbean from the library. And this is sort of the story of the McGee family who made a lot of treasure maps for pirates and he had clues in his treasure maps and it was a family affair and so it kind of talks about what they did and what piracy was and all of these really interesting maps to look at and so maybe they decide they want to use their vector vermin and use these maps and trace out some coordinates and some instructions to get you from one place to another to find the pirate treasure which would be fun. And also for kids who love literature or maybe are just looking for a way to sort of tie the science and the math and the art and the drawing they're doing in the lab with a little bit of reading, um, this is a really great book. It's called Blackbeard the Pirate King and the author of this book did a ton of research on Blackbeard and he wrote a lot of poems so it could be a fun activity to read through the poems and have your child write their own poem. And the nice thing about this book is that it's got this beautiful art in it. So as you read the poems, you can look at the art and you can talk about art history and what types of art it is, what the art looks like, what is, what do you think they used when they did that, what kind of medium was it. And he also has um, so at, excerpts at the bottom from his research, so historical accounts or information that he had found that he based his poem on. And it, this is just a really fun way to tie in because Blackbeard was known as the Pirate King. And so bringing them in, maybe they can draw their own po or write their own poem and paint their own picture that goes with it, similar to this. And that's a great way to make this for all intelligences. So those are just a few ideas on how to bring some reading, some extra art, some literature, some map making, environmental stuff, and even math all into this Pirate's Treasure Science Lab that we're making. 
We would love to hear your questions or uh, comments in our comment section down below. Feel free, again, we're on Patreon. You can support us monthly. Get all the labs as they come out at patreon.com slash rosyresearch. Or you can just get the pirate lab by itself at rosyresearch.com slash shop. And thank you so much. Follow us on social media on Facebook and Instagram.